Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really risking looking like a floating head today. I'm literally blending in with the wall, but I am really excited to be back. A little Zara haul. I picked up a few things because I have some upcoming trips coming up. However, lots of these bits I think can be very UK appropriate if styled up slightly differently. So hopefully there's a little bit of something for everyone in this video, but I know so many of you have said you need some inspo for upcoming trips. So hopefully I can help a little bit here. It's definitely a color palette. It's a very me kind of palette. I'm excited to try it on, see what works, what doesn't. I have a few visions for things, so I'm really excited to test those out and see how they look on. Side note, if you haven't watched my last video, I picked up a lot of like daily basics for warmer weather trips. So definitely go and check that out if you are looking for more like hot weather stuff this is kind of like a little bit of like warm weather stuff but then there's some bits that can definitely be worn like in the uk or in the evenings or bits like that so if you're looking for like the real hot weather stuff and like my swimsuit recommendations and the ones that i picked up for this year then definitely go and check out my last vlog i've also thrown a couple of bits in here that i actually haven't had a chance to show you in the vlogs at all yet and i'm so excited to show you those and style them up as well so without further ado let's get into it okay, so outfit number one you're gonna have to excuse me because at the moment Hello, because sometimes my boobs behave themselves and I have like fashion boob and at the moment they are just being outrageous so they're being outrageous in this dress and I was really hoping that the situation would have like sorted itself out by now but apparently not it's a really cute dress it fits really well for the most part but I think like my boob to body ratio is just slightly off at the moment and it's not fitting so well across the chest like it's to the point where the material is turning out slightly here because i think it's just a little bit too much for what the dress was designed for because the rest of the body it fits really really well like over the leg there's a lot of room but across the chest it's just kind of like bulging a little bit so unfortunately i don't think i'm going to keep this one but this is so cute i really just kind of envision wearing it with like a blazer over the top for like an evening dinner cute little like nude little sandals this little bag which i love it's from myself this is a cassandra bag i believe they bought this back this year and i just think it works so nicely together with the hair like half up it's very like audrey hepburn but yeah i just feel a little bit borderline uncomfortable in this and i don't think it's going to be one for me for this vacation but it's so pretty i really wanted to try it out i was really hoping that my chest would just sit slightly better but unfortunately not but it's such a gorgeous dress i have tried to boob tape as well it didn't really work just because of the proportions and the amount of coverage that you've got here and across the back is slightly limited so it just didn't really work so well i tried like strapless bra none of the above options were working well so yeah this one is sadly not going to be for me but if you have the confidence for this go for it okay so these shorts are so cute they come as a set with this little knit and i say a knit when i saw other people wearing this on instagram i kind of envisioned it being like a two-piece that i was wearing at the start of this video which is from asos it's not thick thick like winter thick but it's definitely thicker it's like a decent knit for summer basically but this is much lighter it's a really fine thread it's got a little bit more of a like rough what is my hair doing it's got a little bit more of a rough feel to it but in a really nice way not like a this is going to feel awful my skin kind of way but just in a way that makes it really feel like a summer knit it is so lovely like it's a little bit see-through i'm not sure if you'll be able to tell from the bottoms but i can tell when i put them on they're a little bit see-through but it just means that that knit is kind of like a little bit more breathable it just feels really summer appropriate and i love that like i think these shorts would be so cute as like a pair of beach shorts you can throw them on over like your bikini if you've just been in the sea or whatever obviously dried off a bit but yeah i I think that's really cute i just love like a jumper and shorts that was set i think it's really cute it's very drop dead thread but kind of love that so you can either like tuck or like have it hanging loose whatever your vibe i think it'd be really cute with like a pair of sandals like a pair of black sandals actually and then this bag would be so so cute but yeah i really like this i got it in a size hmm, should have checked this before i put it on so small and honestly originally i didn't think that i would be keeping both the asos little cohort and this little cohort however they are both so different i think it could be possible to have both do i need both maybe not but they are very very different this is so cute though i think this is much more on the holiday vibes whereas the asos cohort i originally thought oh that'd be really cute for like wearing on a flight or like you know obviously wearing around the uk well, i'm doing a lot of hand action here wow yeah so i think they both have very different purposes but 
are so so cute really love this and you can obviously pair them with different things you can pair the shorts with like a black knit i actually have a black knit that's very similar to this stripy one or you could pair the knit with like a little pair of jeans i think that would be really cute as well like a blue denim but yeah i really like this what do we think let me know imagine it style with a little bucket hat oh my god i've really put that on wonky but oh my god so cute with a pair of trainers as well. I think this is so cute. I just love the bucket hat. So I am so excited to share this next purchase with you. It is this gorgeous white blazer. It matches my trousers perfectly. These are my white trousers from Zara, which if you've been subscribed for a while or you follow me on Instagram, you definitely will have seen these before. These are my favorite trousers. So I actually own trousers. <laughs> I actually own three pairs of them. I own different sizes because basically they're my perfect pair of trousers. So I was like, I need to have them for bloated days, for norm bloated days, you know, the vibes. Yeah. And then I have a pair that are for wearing with heels and then a pair for not wearing with heels or two pairs for not wearing with heels. This is one of the pairs that I've taken up and so I can wear them with my trainers which is one of my favorite ways to wear them but they also look incredible with heels as well but yeah Carl Long Troy store my favorite pair of trousers I love them so much and I really wanted like a white suit I've seen a few looks that I really liked involving white suits and rather than buying or trying to find another pair of wide leg trousers that fit really well and then taking them up I was like you know what I'm just going to try and find a blazer that matches the trousers that I already have and I think this is a really good colour match. Zara, sometimes you just never know. Sometimes you end up with like an ecru white or a yellowy white or, oh God, it just goes on. These trousers are actually like a slightly off white. Sometimes if I put them like with a white body, not the same white, but you would never know unless I put like a white t-shirt or a white body actually with them. But these are a similar colorway. The only way you can tell that they're not part of the same suit set is I have a white button on my trousers and then I have a black button on the suit jacket. But in terms of the colour, it works really well i'm super happy with it i got this blazer i believe in a small yeah a small it was 69.99 which zara is like one of the higher kind of price points i believe for a blazer but it's very thick it has like shoulder padding it's a really lovely quality it's definitely more of a spring jacket than the height of summer jacket however i think just for like dinners in the evening my bangs are really just playing me at the moment sorry however i think for like dinners in the evening it would be absolutely fine especially if i'm just wearing like a bralette underneath nothing too substantial at all but also when i'm home in the uk and it's like how the weather is today where it's just overcast there's not really like any weather going on which i feel like is our general summer i started it with a little drop top bralette style thing from pretty little thing and then i've just got my beige trainers it always looks really really cute with my prada sunnies and then this bag this is my favorite bag at the moment to wear with a suit because i just think it makes it look a little bit less formal a little bit more casual real off-duty vibes which i love i have this same suit in like a beigey colorway and i absolutely adore it so i'm really happy that the white version is working really well because as so many of you will know i love i love wearing white i just love it it makes me look so tanned it's so easy to wear providing you find the right color whites that go together but like i love a white and black combo so you can obviously like dress it up as well i feel like that is the way the traditional way to wear a suit it is quite formal but i love how the oversized fit of this can really like lend itself more to being more casually and this is a look that you will definitely see me wearing especially on those days where the weather is not weathering in any positive <laughs> Way. and whether i'm having a bloated day or a non-bloated day like i just love an oversized fit like this i just don't even have to worry about it so especially for like spending days in london where i have to pack in advance and i'm not sure what's going to be going on or what i'm going to be feeling a suit has proved time and time again to be like a go-to for me so the item that i wanted to pair with the suit some of you are gonna really hate and some of you will love and some of you will love but not want to wear and all of those are completely understandable but i did a thing i bought the hayley bieber replica bralette i personally am obsessed with it with a suit and i know at the start of this video i actually said i didn't like the black dress because it was a bit too too much. I would argue that the issue with this top in particular is actually that there's too little, but I personally love it. I actually have got some like covers that you could wear with it. Personally, I would go as far as to be sewing myself a lining 
for this. By the way, I make out like I'm a master sewer, I'm not, but I'm just really committed to a look sometimes. But in my opinion, the covers do just as well. My only argument would be is that these don't match my skin tone particularly well. I mean, they kind of look like they could be part of the top a little bit, but I will definitely be shopping for some that are my actual skin tone. It's so hard to buy them online in your actual skin tone. It's like trying to buy a foundation online. But yeah, they will do for now, but I will definitely be finding some covers in my actual skin tone because this top needs to be worn and I would like to like be able to take the suit jacket off but I think it looks so cool under the suit. I actually put the photo of Hailey Bieber wearing this style top on my stories and I think she was wearing like a leather jacket and denim, are they denim shorts? I think they were denim shorts. And so many people messaged me saying, yeah, but how are you gonna wear them? Because I basically said like, it's really unhelthy the speed at which I <laughs> clicked purchase on a sparkly bra after seeing her in one. So many people said, what would you wear it with? Personally, I think this is an amazing way to glam up a suit. If you like a bralette anyway, and you're comfortable in a bralette, this is a really fun look to play around with. Personally, I'm obsessed with it. Like somebody please invite me to something where the dress code is glam because I need to wear this outfit. And so just to show you, this is the back. So it is one size, which I think is ridiculous. So the chain on the back doesn't actually fit me particularly well. Yeah, it kind of clips at the top of the neck. I did try doing it cross back and crossing the two straps over and clipping them to make it tighter. I actually felt like it looked better with a bit more movement underneath the boobs, if that makes sense. I feel like it just makes it a little bit more boho and a bit less glam because it's got this like movement to it, if that makes sense. So yeah, now's your opportunity. Go forth in the comments and tell me what you think about it. The next item I picked up were these trousers. They actually match with the suit jacket really, really well. These are the trousers that I believe they come in like a multitude of colorways, like literally like off-white, pink, black, nude, like so, so many different colors, like a bright, they do a bright pink. I think they might do a green. They are an amazing fit. I believe these are a small, but I will confirm that in the comments because I actually don't have a tag on these anymore. I've actually worn them out. You may recognize these if you saw my stories where I went to karaoke. I took them out myself, not all that well, but you know, Who's really looking? But I love them with this little pink knitted bralette, which is also from Zara. Some of you may remember this from my last video. I've been waiting for the time to crack this top out. And I think with a pair of white trousers, it is just incredible. I think with like white linen as well, it would look so good. So that is definitely something that I'll be looking to do this summer. But the two pair really beautifully together. I think they'd look quite nice with the blazer as well. I have to be really careful with this top because this top is actually worse than the other one for Flashing, oh my god, really cute. This is my way to do colour, like a slither of colour. I love it, I'm done, I just absolutely love this. The quality is so good, I actually cannot fault these. I think if you are looking for like a new staple pair of trousers, these trousers will be it. Like I want them in black, I want them in the nude, I'm gonna have to go back and get all of the colours. And this is actually the top that I wore to karaoke. I love it. However, it didn't wash well. This is the one benefit to having actually worn something before showing it to you guys is that I can actually tell you whether it washed well. I don't think it washed well. Before it was kind of like the white of the top was like matching the boning and after they came out the wash and I'm very good with my white washes, it now doesn't match up. I don't love that, but I think as long as I don't wear it with something white, it's not like super noticeable. But yeah, it's a really cute top. I really like the fit. The zip on the side, of, I'm not gonna lie, is very fiddly. And I actually wouldn't recommend doing a lot of like movement in it because I'm slightly intoxicated when I went into karaoke and I actually had like a slight cut on my side from where the bottom of the zip had like actually just rubbed so much on my skin that it had cut me. Overall, this top would not recommend, but I obviously have bought it, cut the tag off and worn it. So I'm keeping it and I really do like the fit of it. And I think it works really beautifully with a pair of like blue jeans or like just baggier trousers in general. I really like to offset like a very tight structured top like this with something that's a little bit more unstructured on the bottom. And these jeans, which are also a new purchase from Zara, I love. So these are like a high-waisted straight leg pair of jeans and I love them. So I obviously, you guys will know, I like the wider leg jeans that I've been wearing a lot recently and I've been looking for a lighter blue pair and I actually picked these up thinking they'd be more of a straight leg than a like wider leg, but I actually think this is like the perfect shape because you'll get that kind of like shaping 
over the thumb and like it fits really well on my hips like it's got enough room to eat in but it's still like fairly tight especially around like my waist but over my bum it's just got the perfect amount of like material in all the right places but once it goes over the bum it falls perfectly it's got that perfect amount of like material over the leg where it's not actually your kind of 80s straight leg but it's not a wide leg either and i just love that i think it's the perfect fit super happy with these i think i will get a lot of wear out of these this summer but i also think it'd be great with this top which i was going to put on my depot i didn't get the chance to take it back in time last summer and i listed it on my depot but actually i think they're gonna look so cute together so yeah i'm gonna try that on now oh yeah cute i think it was fate that this top didn't go back last summer they look so cute together just really comfy casual cute vibes i am very happy with this i really like this kind of combo of trainers like the slightly wider leg trouser and then a cute little top at the moment it feels very i guess y2k like in america did you know what i'm not mad about this trend coming back and this being the theme of fashion right now because i just didn't have the disposable income first time around and i love a cute top like this anyway but i just really am enjoying this way of styling i think with a blazer over the top it's really cute it feels like it fits my personal style very well so yeah i'm just loving it like with a black blazer over the top this is my favorite zara one i just think it's so cute real comfy smart cash vibes and i love it and then have this blazer which is like a cropped i want to say like a linen feel i don't know if it is a linen oh yeah linen okay cool i got it in a size small it was 45.99 and I really wanted a cropped blazer because obviously, as we've just discussed, I've been wearing a lot of jeans that are like high waisted and then wide leg. And sometimes when I'm wearing an oversized blazer, like I obviously love an oversized blazer, don't get me wrong. But sometimes it just feels like I should be wearing something that's a little bit more cropped. And I just wanted to give it a go. Yeah, I just wanted to try it out. Can you guys let me know what you think? I can't even like, I'm not wearing my glasses and I have no contacts in or anything, so I can't even see right now but yeah it feels like it's a nice fit like oversized sleeves like really nice color love that the quality feels lovely it feels light but not so light that it's like unstructured it feels like it's got a good structure like it's got shoulder padding and i love that i think it gives like a really nice silhouette because it is lighter it still feels a bit floaty it feels like it's going to be the perfect like crop summer blazer i think you could also wear it really nicely as like a top as well and you wouldn't need to wear anything like underneath if you did the buttons that could be cute my only reservation with a jacket like this is that my body obviously isn't the average body length being five foot two and i have quite a short body even for someone that's five foot two so i didn't know if it would hit at a wrong weight but it looks okay i'm gonna have to look at it properly in a mirror because like this is just not not the way for me to fully assess but like let me know what you guys think i just thought it would be nice to have something that isn't like completely oversized and like covering my bum it might be there's an outfit that i want to put together and it's like with heels and it's a bit more cute so a cropped blazer just is like a better option and i think this is a gorgeous colorway to have for summer because it just works so well with like the neutral tops this is like a really cute little outfit combo okay yes super happy with that next up we have this really cute little top which i'm hoping will work really nicely with the jeans i'm already wearing it's got this lovely little knot detail at the front and then a really cute little strappy situation as i was saying it goes down into a body and there's little poppers on the bottom which is fab i got this in a size small and it was 19.99 which i am very impressed with it's got like a really nice it's textured but it's not a linen i want to know what this is it says polyester in a last name but this texture i don't know if it'll come up on camera it's really it's like a little bit rough it's really nice actually i like it a lot so yeah i'm excited to try this on so this top is a little bit see-through in parts that like you can really see around where the labels are you can really see the labels but i do really like it my only thing is that it's got this weird little circle area here which isn't always the most flattering if you have like, a large chest but what i would say is it has enough hold that i've been able to kind of just like move my boobs slightly and it doesn't give you that weird squash together cleavage look in here which is 
great because I really that's one of my pet peeves when there's like a cutout across this part of the chest is that it's always shown on a model that has either fashion boobs or no boobs and you just can't get a feel for what it's going to look like on you I vote if they make stuff like this they have to photograph it on someone that has boobs just so they can manage expectations but it's actually okay and I think with like a pair of black trousers as well this would look really cute really minimalist but it is also really lovely with a pair of straight leg jeans like this pair I think especially with a pair of sandals this would look so cute I definitely want to try this with like a black pair of trousers on the bottom I think it will look so nice especially with sandals and then like a little like my YSL little raffia bag I think that would be so cute so I'm gonna try that next um, I don't love it as much as I thought I would to be honest like it looks nice but I actually think I preferred it with the jeans you can let me know what you guys think it's probably the trousers but i just think it looks a bit work wear personally still looks really nice just a little bit more work wear i know this top is obviously not work wear but it just gives that kind of a bit too smart i think is what i'm trying to say but also these trousers are very work wear but i think they lend themselves better to being paired with like a black body and then trainers and that casuals them down but i don't think it's working it's just not giving what i hoped with this it's not that it's not working it just is a di very different vibe to how I envisioned it in my head. However, I think with a wider leg pair of trousers, maybe in more of a linen texture or just a more relaxed fabric is what I am thinking of. So this dress is just so sweet. It's really lightweight, very thin, but double lined, which is amazing. I think this will be amazing for very warm days with like a sleek hairstyle, a really nice pair of sunnies and just like minimal accessories. It's just going to be a go to for summer. I actually have a similar one from ASOS in more of a cotton, almost like that stiff shirt material in black and I got a lot of wear out of it last summer. I wore it with my brown sandals and this bag. I absolutely loved it. I wore it in the same way which is why the sleek hairstyle and everything will definitely be my go to. I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it especially with it being in a white colourway. This is definitely more of a very hot weather dress though the other one is definitely a bit more fitted and it's got more of a structure to it because it is that like stiffer more cotton type material whereas this is like super floaty really nice and soft like i don't even know what this is but it is gorgeous really soft just very lightweight it's really nice it's got adjustable straps as well which i love i think this will be a summer staple if this is still on sale when this video goes live definitely see if you can get your hands on it because it's just such a winner. I think even though this skirt is short, and I definitely gravitate towards midi items in terms of thinking about longevity in my wardrobe, I think this is a dress that I would still get a lot of wear out of over the next kind of five, ten years. So very happy to have this in my wardrobe. I think it's such a summer staple that I would just crack out again and again and again. So yeah, very, very happy with it. I think I got a size small, and I can't remember how much it was, but everything will be in the info box as always. But yeah, really, really happy with this dress it's really sweet i'll get a lot of wear out of it it's just a really nice easy summer piece oh my god you guys the only way to describe how i feel is like this must be how people feel when they try on their wedding dresses <laughs> i love this so much oh my goodness i think this dress was made for me personally like someone at zara drew out this dress for me it fits so well i'm so happy this is my favorite item of the whole order i'm so looking forward to my holiday now this is so so it's this really gorgeous i think it's meant to be a midi dress but obviously it's very much almost full length for me it has this lovely like little slit on the side and it's got the ruching and you can actually like adjust it to make it a little bit more of a thigh slit or like a tiny bit less it's not fully adjustable but you can kind of like tweak it slightly i've obviously pulled it the tightest it will go because i was like yes i want to slit the highest it will go on my thigh because that is the kind of human that i am but yeah i love it it fits so well over my boobs hips and waist like i actually cannot fault it it's got adjustable straps so you could kind of give it a bit more lift if you wanted to i've just kind of thrown it on as it arrived and i'm quite happy with it to be honest i haven't adjusted the straps it is just gorgeous i'm so so happy with it it would look lovely with a heel but it also is just amazing with a pair of like really simple flats these are my wise health flats yeah i absolutely love this shaping over the chest it's so lovely they've been doing this quite a lot with their tops but i've always found the tops to be a corset style and they're basically well, like one of them i got stuck in if my friend hadn't been coming over to do the depop items i actually would have been like fully stuck in it or had to have cut myself out of it it was that hard to get out of however i'm not having that problem 
with the dress at all because it's just like a zip up back so it's lovely to be able to have that shape that i have been kind of lusting after but without the issues with getting into the item to be honest with a white holiday style dress that is just my perfect item i couldn't have asked for a better item for this kind of like detailing to be on i'm so happy with it i'm gonna stop talking about it now but this really is like my number one if you like this style of dress and you're looking for something lovely to wear in the evenings or on holiday this is my number one recommendation from this video i could not be happier we have one more dress and it's very different to this one so i hope you're all ready dear zara where is this dress in any color that doesn't violently offend me so it's giving me like kermit the frog is like the designing the bridgerton costumes but i'm kind of not mad about it like look at that back the fit this is why i say about the making this in literally every color i think on behalf of a lot of us i can safely say we would appreciate a dress with a fit like this in a color that is like going to be in our wardrobes for a very long time i'm not gonna lie i wish i had nabbed this in pink my gosh i know it still would have been a very bright pink but I just would have absolutely loved it in pink. I mean, I am very lucky. I think that green kind of works, but I just, green was obviously not my preferred choice. But a toss between green and lilac, which were my available colors when I did this order, I went with green, not sure why. But seriously though, what do we think? Like, I adore the way this fits. It's got something about it. I don't even know what it is. I don't know, maybe it won't even come across on camera, but I put it on and I was like, especially the back. I was like, damn. It's giving. It's really giving. It's doing the most. I didn't want to like it, but I, I do like it. I think especially even the length on me is quite a nice length. I know on other people it will obviously not be as full a length, but I actually really rate it. I love the drop back and then it goes into like this full skirt on me. I think that's lovely. I actually thought I was going to hate this situation at the front i didn't think it was going to be fluttering on my chest or my top half at all but i'm not mad about it i don't know what it is about the way they have structured this dress but i i do really like it let me know what you think i'm gonna leave it up to you guys i'm genuinely so intrigued like even ryan saw this on the hanger and he was like i love that color and i was like really so maybe it's just me being very basic and like classic with my color choices slash boring one of my concerns was actually accessorizing but seeing it next to my YSL Cassandra I actually think it will still look really nice I think this still works there's something about like just having a black and beige and gold bag like it's very neutral it's really easy to style with things and I actually think it still works with this dress but let me know what you think because one of my main concerns was what on earth am i going to pair this with what bag is going to go with this what shoes are going to go with this but actually i think keeping things very neutral kind of works but let me know what you think honestly it's so bright even a full-on black bag isn't offending me and normally i would never pair black and like a block color together but i don't even think this feels wrong i'm so confused by this dress so that is my little wild card number like i said let me know what you think please help me i am so confused and that is going to be it for this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed it and maybe got a little bit of inspo for this summer or any trips you have coming up let me know what you think i should keep and return as always in the comments below and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye